look at this. This is the display. That display. The display for the autopilot. You see that display? It's this one. If you check in the back of the display, they have two terminals. One terminal for power and other one for data. If you only connect the data cable, doesn't matter that that cable have a, a four terminals. You only supply data because this this input is only for data. There's only three on. Three Correct. On now. Correct. And this one is for power. Yeah. Power only. Only for this equipment. And in the back, you see both cables connected. No. One for data and other for power. Okay. Look at this, guys. This is a, a very important uh, topic, the topic that we are going to talk right now. Look, this is the cable for, uh, for uh, the GPS antenna. That's the cable for the GPS antenna. This one is connected here, and this is the other end of the cable. Look at this. In this cable, in this cable I have, and this is the computer for the autopilot. If you check the computers of the autopilot, in general, they have uh, the option for the plus gate. After that, the option for the gyro, for the rudder. They have four terminals empty for NEMA. NEMA, they have other connection because this is Roy Marine for uh, Sea Talk. Remember that the protocol, the original protocol of, us, of uh, Ray Marine is Sea Talk. You have it in one page of the book the name of the protocols per each manufacturer. You have uh, the protocol for uh, SIMRAT is SIMNET. The protocol for uh, BNG is FASTNET. The protocol for Ray Marine is SITALK. You see? Mm -hmm. This is the name of the protocol per each manufacturer. In this and this SITALK, you can connect directly into the computer, into the main screen Ray Marine. Into the main screen Ray Marine with this type of connector, the connector C-Talk. The connector C-Talk is here, and now you have the cables to connect here in those terminals C-Talk and C-Talk. You see? C-Talk is like the old name of the Ray Marine. Yeah, yeah, for, for uh, Ray Marine. Okay, what is the meaning of that? Pay attention. In this computer, you have the option to integrate Ray Marine equipments, and also you have available free space for generic equipments with NEMA. Generic equipments. For example, I have this radio. Suppose that this radio is not Ray Marine, it's other manufacturer. And I have the NEMA, the NEMA connectors, you see? And they say here that a, a grade is positive in and a purple is is negative in, uh, blue is positive out, and uh, brown is negative uh, out. Ah, and here I have the option NEMA, positive in, negative in, positive out, negative out. What is the meaning of that? Can I integrate the data of this radio here into the NEMA backbone? Yes. Yes, because this computer is connected with the NEMA backbone. If I connect this radio here, NEMA 183, now this radio is integrated with the NEMA backbone. Everybody follow me? Pay attention. This radio is 183. And my NEMA backbone is 2000. However, I have the option to connect the data cables into a NEMA connectors. I have in the autopilot computer the option for NEMA. Can I connect this radio here in the NEMA options and now it's integrated in the backbone? Yeah. Yes. Nice, no? Why you need to connect the radio into the backbone, Captain? Compass. Because the compass GPS. and the Mayday, Mayday, Mayday button. Yeah. <laughs> GPS. Correct, because the GPS you need. Position. Yeah? That's very important. You see this one? You see the options? Gyro, Rudder, Tan, NEMA, NEMA, C-Talk. And uh, this is the power. 
positive and negative, positive and negative to supply power for the computer, positive and negative, where should be connected this, uh, this power? To, to the backbone? No, no, to the DC panel. And look at this, this is the motor, positive and negative for the motor, this is autopilot. What motor? The motor, to the steering the motor motor. of the power unit. The hydraulic power unit have a motor for one direction, spinning in one direction, or other direction. Oh, this one that should be connected here and here. The motor, the motor of the, the hydraulic unit for the autopilot system should be connected here. Positive and negative from the breaker for the unit. Uh, see talk and see talk. With this one, I can connect. I can connect the main screen. See talk. You understand? One, one, one here, look at this, the colors. The color for C-Talk, yellow, red, and yellow, red, and black, you see? Connected here. And now, this screen is connected here. Everybody follow me? And uh, here, the rudder sensor, and in the other one, uh, the compass. Let me I bring one rudder sensor and one compass, and I show to you. Okay, look at this. I have the computer and uh, I want to connect, what is this? That's the rudder sensor. Rudder sensor. sensor. Uh, look at this, uh, where is the position for a uh, rudder? That one, what is the color? Gray, red, green, green, and blue. Okay, you see the colors? You see the color here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I need to introduce here the red, the blue. Mm -hmm. What is the, the procedure? What is the procedure? I recommend those filaments are not easy introduced over there. But uh, if you solder in with your soldering iron, that end, it gets solid. now okay. it's solid, now it's solid, and after that it's easy, you punch that cable over there and you insert that one. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. If you solder in. And additionally, if you solder in, avoid corrosion. It's solid because it's easy to introduce that one with those. Th no. no, because it's bended. It's difficult to introduce. If you solder in the ends, we are going to practice tomorrow soldering the end of the wires, you introduce easily. Okay, now I introduce the rudder sensor here, and I introduce the compacts here, the floss gate, that one, that one, exactly the same with the colors. You see the color for the floss gate here? You introduce that one here, and now you have sensor, you have sensor, uh, you have the connection chip talk here to the uh, main screen and the main screen connected with the backbone.